In this video, you'll learn the difference between polarity and phase. But if you're new to this channel, my name is Kyle. If you want to learn audio production online, subscribe to Audio University. While it's very common to confuse polarity and phase, it's important to understand how they're different. It will help if you have a basic understanding of how sound works. As you may already know, a sound wave is a cycle of positive and negative pressure changes. A microphone converts those pressure changes into a cycle of positive and negative voltages in a wire. This signal begins with a positive voltage and then continues through a negative voltage. Let's flip the polarity of this signal. Now the signal begins with a negative voltage. Most mixing consoles, DSPs, or DAWs give you the ability to flip or invert the polarity of a signal. It's the equivalent of switching the positive and negative wire in a microphone cable or in a speaker cable. To better understand the difference between polarity and phase, let's imagine identical audio signals traveling through two separate cables. These two copies of the signal are currently in the same polarity. They will add together at the destination. This is called constructive interference. Reversing the positive and negative wires on one of the cables will invert the polarity of the signal passing through that cable. Now the signals are in opposite polarity. When they're mixed together at the destination, they'll completely cancel out. This is called destructive interference. While polarity is a function of positive and negative, phase is a function of time. To help visualize this, I'll put a delay in the second cable path. At the source, the signals are synchronized. They begin and end at the same time. However, one of the signals is delayed. By the time the signals reach the destination, they're out of sync. Audio waves are cycles. The cycle of this wave begins at zero, goes through a positive phase, and then progresses through a negative phase. Just like a circle, the points along the cycle of a sound wave can be charted from zero degrees to 360 degrees. In our example, the second copy of the wave arrives as the first copy is halfway through one cycle. This means the signals are 180 degrees out of phase. The first wave is negative as the second wave is positive. This will cause destructive interference because now the waves work against one another. A phase shift doesn't always result in a perfect summation or a perfect cancellation. Up until this point, our examples have contained only one frequency. However, most audio signals contain many frequencies. In fact, this highlights one of the most practical differences between polarity and phase. In this example, we have two identical signals, each containing the same three frequencies. Inverting the polarity of one of these signals will cause a complete cancellation when they mix together at the destination. Inverting the polarity of a signal affects all frequencies in that signal evenly. However, a phase shift will affect each frequency a bit differently. Some frequencies will sum together, some frequencies will partially cancel, and some frequencies will perfectly cancel. Remember, polarity is a function of positive and negative wiring, whereas phase is a function of time. If you got value out of this video, hit the like button, share the video, and for more content like this, subscribe to Audio University.